Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of Coder Girl. Today in this video, you will learn to create a login form and sign up form using HTML and CSS only. As you can see on my computer screen, this is a very straightforward login form. But the most outstanding feature of this form is that if I click on this sign up, it will take me to the sign up form. And if I click on login, it takes me to the login form. Before starting this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now without delay, let's start this video. Here in this folder, I have index.html file and style.css file. Let me open these files. This is the HTML file where I have added some basic HTML structures. And this is the CSS file where I have added margin, padding, box sizing, font family. These CSS properties will be applicable for all the HTML elements. In this HTML file, I have added one title and one link tag that will connect HTML and CSS file. Next, we have to add the code in the body tag. So here, let's create one div with a class name container. Let me open this with HTML preview. So this is the HTML preview where we can see our project. Inside this container, we will create another div with the class name of the login form. And here, we will create one header tag and give its name as login. Now you can see that the header has come to the web page. We will give CSS to it. At first, we will give CSS to the body tag. So copy this body, paste it here in the CSS file. For this one, we will give mean height, 100 pH with 100%, then background color. After adding this, refresh the web page again. Now you can see the plain color on the complete web page. Again, come back to the HTML file, copy this class name, paste it here in the CSS file. For this one, we will give position absolute, top 50%, left 50%. After that, we will give transform, translate, minus 50%, minus 50%. So that all the content inside this container will be in the center. After adding this, we will give max width 430 pixel with 100%. Then we will give background color triple F, which is white color, border radius 7 pixel. Then we will give box shadow. Refresh to a page again. Now you can see a white box with slightly curve from all sides and shadow here. Again, come back to the CSS file, copy this one, paste it here, and come back to the HTML file, copy this class name, paste it here in the CSS file. For this one, we will give padding to rim. Now you can see it has taken two rim padding from all sides. Again, come back to the CSS file, copy this form, paste it here, and jump to the HTML file, copy this header, Paste it here in the CSS file. For this one, we will give font size to rim, font weight 500, text align center, then margin bottom, it will be 1.5 rim. Refresh the web page again. Now you can see the increase size of this login and it is in the middle of the box. Again, come back to the HTML file. After this header, we will create form tag and inside this form, we will create input and inside here, we will put a placeholder and here we will write enter your email. Let's duplicate this and change the text. Here we will write password. Now you can see the two input box here. Let's add the CSS for this input box. Come back to the CSS file, copy this one, paste it here. And again, come back to the HTML file, copy this input, paste it here in the CSS file. For this one, we will give height 60 pixel with 100%, then padding 0, 15 pixel. Font size, it will be 17 pixel. Now you can see that this input box has got 60 pixel height and 100% weight. Now we keep some space between these two input box. 
so for that again come back to the css file here we will add margin bottom 1.3 rim border 1 pixel solid triple d then border radius it will be 6 pixel and outline none refresh the web page again now you can see these two input box have got 1.3 rim space from the bottom and we can see the border color here and the box are slightly curved from all sides now we want a small shadow to appear under it when we click on it so for that come back to the css file copy this one paste it here and write hover for this one we will give box shadow now you can see when i click on it a little shadow appears under it after that again come back to the html file after this input we will create one anchor tag and give its link its forget password here you can see a forget password link now we will add the css for this link so for that come to the css file copy this class name paste it here come back to the html file copy this one paste it here in the css file for this one we will give font size 16 pixel then we will change the color text decoration will be none now you can see the change color and remove underline for this link we will add one hover effect for this link so for that come back to the css file copy this one paste it here and write hover for this one we will give text decoration underline now you can see when i take the cursor over this link an underline will appear here again come back to the html file after this anchor tag here we will create one input with class name of button change the type and here we will give value login now you can see one button here button is half design because we have already given css properties to the input but we will make it better so for that come back to the css file copy this one paste it here again come back to the html file copy this class name paste it here in the css file for this one we will give color triple f then background font size will be 1.2 rem font width 500 letter spacing 1 pixel after that we will give some space from the top so margin top will be 1.7 rem and cursor will be pointer refresh the web page again now you can see this button looks very good we will add hover effect for this button so for that come back to the css file copy this one paste it here and write hover for this one we will add background color this color gold and here we will add transition 0.4 seconds now you can see when i take cursor over this button the color of the background will be changed again come back to the html file after this form tag we will create one div with class name of sign up and inside this div we will create one span tag with class name of sign up and here we will write don't have an account after that we will create one level tag and inside here we will write sign up let's add the css copy this class name paste it here in the css file for this one we will add font size 17 pixel text align center copy this one paste it here and come back to the html file copy this label and paste it here in the css file here we will change the color then we will give cursor pointer now you can see the change color for the sign up here we will add hover effect for that come to the css file copy this one paste it here 
and try it hover. For this one, we will add text decoration underline. Refresh the web page again. Now you can see whenever I take cursor over this link, an underline will appear here. Finally, we have created the login form. Now we will create the registration form. For that, come back to the HTML file and simply we will duplicate this entire form. Now you can see two form here. Right now, the form is not fully visible because here we have given position absolute. Comment the CSS properties for now. Now you can see two forms here. Again, come back to the HTML file. This one is registration form. So here we will write registration. Title will be sign up. And here we will write create a password. Duplicate this one and write confirm your password. In this registration form, we don't need this forgot password. So remove this one and the button will be sign up. After that, here we will write already have an account. Login. After adding this, refresh the website again. Now you can see two forms here. One is login form and another is registration form. Come back to the HTML file. Here we will create input tag. Type will be checkbox. And here we will add ID. It will be check. Now you can see checkbox here. We want this checkbox to be checked when we click on sign up and also to be checked when we click on login. For that, let's copy this ID and paste it in the level of both. Now you can see when we click on sign up, then this checkbox is checked. And when we click on login, then this checkbox is also checked. Come to this CSS file and let's uncomment these properties. After that, copy this container, paste it here and write registration. For this one, we will keep display none. Now you can see that only one form is visible here because we have given display none to registration form. But we want to hide the registration form when showing the login form and also hide the login form when showing the registration form. We can easily create this type of form with the help of checkbox. So for that, come back to the HTML file, copy this ID, paste it here in the CSS file and write checked tilde dot registration. For this one, we will give display block. Copy this one, paste it here and change the class name. For this one, we will give display none. Refresh the web page again. Now you can see when I click on sign up, it takes me to the sign up form. And when I click on login, it takes me to the login form. Now we have to hide this checkbox. For that, come back to the CSS file. Copy this ID, paste it here. For this one, we will give display none. After adding this, refresh the web page again. Now you can see the checkbox is hidden from here. That is how I created this login and sign up form using HTML and CSS only. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about this topic, you can ask me in my comment section. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and stay tuned for the updates. Thanks for watching.